Hello and welcome to King's Kids. It's the 16th of August. Woo! And today we are looking about encouraging each other. We've got a worship video, we've got a funny video, and then we've got a story. Now this week's story is not really about encouraging, but if you take that story and then you tell somebody else about it, you can encourage someone. So what's the story you're asking? Well our story this week is about the fiery furnace. It's about how God protected three people as they were in a fiery furnace and he made sure that they didn't die, which is amazing. So some people may need to hear some encouragement. So your challenge is to learn the story, think about what God did, and then encourage someone by sharing with them how God worked an amazing miracle in this story. Have a great week everyone and I hope you enjoy all of our content. Bye! Ah! Mate, it's your bit. All you need to do is leap on this mark when I say ah! No, 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 get back. I was just explaining the cue. The cue is ah! No! Ah, oh, okay. Be honest, Toothless. Do I come across as too broody? Because half the time I'm just trying to remember where I left my keys. Brothers, not all of us will see daybreak, but... Dragon, show yourself. Toothless, no! No, put it down. Put it down. Catering's top notch, mate. I got you the salmon. <laughs> I'm a little confused about my part, really. I mean, first I'm dead, then I'm not. No one knows who my mother is. Brothers, we have fought strong. We have fought hard. And we must continue to fight until our foes are defeated. Fiery Furnace. Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon. He had the biggest army and the biggest empire anyone had ever seen. King Nebuchadnezzar was so powerful he began to act like he was a god not a man. All the people should bow whenever I say so, he said. So King Nebuchadnezzar built a giant statue 90 feet tall. That's as tall as a nine-story building. And this statue was covered in gold. It shone like the sun and could be seen from far away. Today I make a new law, said Nebuchadnezzar. Whenever my musicians play, everyone must bow down to my golden statue. What if they won't bow, his friends asked. Then I'll throw them into a blazing hot furnace and burn them up, Nebuchadnezzar yelled angrily. This was very bad news for Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, three young Israelite men who now lived in Babylon. The friends worked for King Nebuchadnezzar, managing the huge city where they now lived. It is time to bow to the golden statue, announced the king's messenger. But Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego wouldn't bow to the statue. They worshipped the God of Israel. And to bow to any other god, even a pretend god, made out of wood and gold, would be against God's laws. When the music played and everyone in Babylon turned toward the giant statue and bowed down to the ground, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego stood up tall. They would not bow. King Nebuchadnezzar was furious. You have to bow down. You'd be thrown to the furnace, he yelled. King Nebuchadnezzar, the three men replied, if you throw us into the furnace, our God can save us. They looked into the hot, hot fire and then looked back at the king. But even our God doesn't save us from the fire, they said. We will not serve your God or to bow down to your statue. Now, the king was even angrier. Make the furnace as hot as can be, he bellowed, and throw these men inside. The king's guard made the fire hotter and they tied up Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego with ropes and tossed them into the flames. And then something strange happened. King Nebuchadnezzar leaned down and stared into the furnace. His eyes got big. Have you ever seen something that you just couldn't believe you were seeing? Remember how big your eyes got? How many men did we throw into the furnace, he asked. Three, his guards replied. The king stared harder. I see four men in the furnace. They're walking around and the fourth man looks. 
King Nebuchadnezzar rubbed his eyes and looked into the furnace again. The fourth man looks like a son of the gods, he said amazed. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, the king called out. Come out the furnace. All three men walked out the furnace. They weren't hurt at all. Their clothes weren't burnt. Their hair wasn't burnt. They didn't even smell like smoke. King Nebuchadnezzar couldn't believe what he was seeing. Your God, he said, sent an angel to protect you. You trusted your God, he said, and he saved you from the fire. Then the king made a new law. From now on, no one can say anything bad about the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, because no God is as strong as their God. The most powerful king in the world changed his mind because three men said, we're going to follow God no matter what.